Is there any advice that you want to give people out there that are going through a tough marriage, possibly thinking about getting a divorce, or just they don't know if they can get out of their marriage for financial or emotional reasons? Do you have any words of wisdom to guide them to the right decision for them? I still believe in marriage. You know, I did get remarried after swearing it off for over 15 years. I do believe in marriage. And I think that's something not to throw away easily. And there's a lot of people that will call us and they'll say, you know, how do I know when it's time to file a divorce? That's a personal question. However, there's certain things that are very, very difficult to come back from. Can you come back from a domestic, you know, violence relationship? Yes. Can you come back from a cheating relationship? Yes. But only if the other person is completely willing to do the work for them. And that is not something you can make them do. So if they're not willing to do the work to change how they are and how they treat you, then it's not going to work. And to figure that out, I am a huge advocate of therapy. I am a huge advocate of getting in and talking because a lot of times, especially in domestic violence situations, you've been beat down. You know, I remember speaking with my therapist and I was like, I just don't even know who I am. You know, I don't know anything about me. I just done everything I could to make everyone else happy and peaceful. And she even said, well, let's start with some basics. What's your favorite kind of pizza? And I was like, I don't know, it's whatever everybody wants to eat. Like, I'll just order that. And even coming to the realization that I didn't even know what type of food I preferred hmm. was almost this eye opener for me. So even before you start the process, find somebody and not the therapist in, you know, that you see on TV where you lie on the couch and you just talk about your problems. The people who really dive down deep and get you to talk about, you know, what it is that you believe in, why you believe it, what you can do to change it. How are you going to build yourself back up? It can be very uncomfortable at times. And if you have a therapist you're never uncomfortable with, you are not with the right therapist. Hmm. So I think sometimes doing that ahead of time and building yourself up because divorce is not an easy process. And especially if if you're coming against somebody who for sake of a situation, you know, they've had the upper hand. They know what to say to make you do certain things. They know how to terrify you. They know exactly what to do, how to say it, when to say it. You know, this is like David and Goliath. You're going up against a giant when you're going through that divorce process. So building yourself up so that you're ready to go through it and you don't crumble is so important because I have seen that happen as well. One person just gives in because they can't keep fighting. So I think for anyone who who's in that situation, find a really, really awesome therapist. Somebody who you like, but knows how to make you uncomfortable because that's where growth comes from.